Now that we have weapon prestige camos that we're able to unlock on every single weapon in the game, I figured it's time that we hop in and try to find the best method for getting it done. Now, before we fully get into grinding here and trying to unlock these prestige camos, I gotta address a question that I've been getting a lot. And that question is, are you dumb? And the answer to that is yes. Cause we're starting out this one trick grind, trying to get the Joker and the Storm Ender done. Probably two of the worst weapons in the game, not just in zombies, in the entire game. Now I picked these two weapons to start off with because I figured this would probably be the hardest it would be to get the weapon prestige camo done. And if we can find something today where we can get this camo done fast without really killing a whole lot of things, then we know it's a good method. And I figured this would be good practice for us because when season four comes out, that's right around the corner. We're gonna have to do this all over again with these weapons. So at least we'll have a, a nice baseline. So we're gonna get that pack a punch. We meleeed our pack a punch machine. Let's hope we don't get the cam on this as well. Let's go. And I have a little bit of a plan here because I have golden ivory on both of these weapons right now. So we can get the weapon mastery challenge done for them. I'm also going to get them the legendary because that seems like a great use of a legendary aether tool. And these weapons need all the help they can get. So I brought in mag of holding and dead wire detonators and PhD for my own safety. And now our storm ender is actually going to do some damage here in tier one, which I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of my time in. But on top of me going for these weapon masteries until season four starts, we have a double XP weekend for our weapon XP, level XP and battle pass XP. So we'll get a little more bang for our buck here. And I have a few different methods I want to try. I want to see what happens like if we just do contracts the whole game and try to like stack up as much money as possible. If that's the best way to get weapon XP and just XP in general for these weapons, or if us just sitting there and getting kills with them is the best way to do it. And just having that big number of kills as a bonus at the end will get us more XP. So we'll start off with something light. I'm going to do a cargo contract just to get us warmed up, because even if we're not using the weapons, us completing contracts with the weapon in our hand or in our inventory should still get us some XP. And then hopefully this will bring us to a different area where we can do an outlast that is uh, not going to spawn in this mercenary stronghold. Does this do anything to mercs? Barely. I think we can still take them out. There we go. We just got EMP to death unfortunate for them. And is the XP rate the same for all tiers of contracts? I actually don't know. How much are we getting for completing this tier one? 1,200? I think it's probably just a thousand for completing it. And we just got a few hundred there for killing zombies. Well, I'm not seeing any Outlast contracts nearby and all of our X fills are pretty far away. So I'm gonna do an escort contract. That way we can still get some kills here and complete some contracts. So I'm gonna try to get these weapon mastery challenges out of the way first. Because honestly, for the Joker, it's not too bad. You literally only need 30 kills with this thing. So I can just walk up and melee zombies if I wanted to. Actually, I didn't think this far ahead because I have the Aether Blade. So meleeing is not an option. We're going to actually have to earn these 30 kills. So you know what? Let's try to get some right here, or at least one. That's got to be one right there. Zombies stay in that spot. There we go. One down, 29 to go. And I think somebody just grabbed our escort contract. We can't have shit here. All right, well, enjoy it. Can I disable your car? Oh, lucky. I wanted to be petty. Maybe he'll let me join. Oh, let's go. See, we just need to make some friends here. We need to socialize a little bit. Oh, actually, what I can do, since he's already going to be on the ACV, I can kind of hang back a bit, and I can just shoot my Joker right at where the ACV is going to be. Because we're going to get a lot of spawns right here. I'm just gonna launch every rocket I got. Look at that. It's like the hammer of dawn coming down. And I think we got like, what, four kills? I saw 80 XP there. We're really raking them in. This is the dumbest class setup I've ever gone into a game with. Actually, that's probably not true. I feel like I've done worse. But there's gotta be some spawns coming up over here. So let's preemptively shoot some. Let's gotta get somebody. Nope, I'm overthinking this a bit. Oh, well, at least we'll get our kills with our Storm Ender. I think we need 300 for this weapon mastery. So it's a little bit off from our, our Joker, but at least this thing can actually kill. Oh, I can actually get mercenaries with this. Do I have any ammo? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Rocket is launched. Contract is done. Reward is earned. It's not very good. How much XP are we at for these? Yikes. I only have 500 XP for this. Does this even track in game? Oh, this is, this is going to be a long day. All right, buddy. Appreciate you. I'm out of here. All right, but we need to change areas because we're not getting anything done right here. We need to find a vehicle now and go to somewhere a little more populated with some better contracts. And after a quick little drive across the map, no biggie, we can start up this Outlast contract. This has got to be one of my favorite Outlasts right here, as long as it works. So I feel like I've grinded out so many camos just at this specific one. Got to be good luck. As long as we can figure out where they're spawning at. I think pathing is still messed up ever since this season came out. The zombies do not go for solo players. 
But actually, if the pathing's messed up, that could be perfect for our Joker if we could find some ammo for it. We're in an ammo famine. Here we go. Yeah, stay over there. No decoys required. Night, night. Ah, uh, just a little bit more. We should have it, unless it's a uh, glitch and it's not actually 30 kills and they want me to get 300 kills with this thing. If that's the case, then we might be screwed with the Joker. Later, zombies. Woo, that was a fat one. And a max ammo. They're rewarding me. Ooh, did I just find the spot? Oh, we got the Joker challenge done. It was 30 kills. Let's go. That's a little extra XP for it. Now, if we can just knock out the challenge for this, we'll be good to go. Best part about this is I don't even have to think. It's just hold down, left click, and zombies die. Oh, and there's our 300 kills with this. All right, let's end this contract and then try to complete as many contracts as we can. And this whole contract, the zombies have not tried to attack me once. Where's this at when I need to get 30 kills without taking damage? Oh, here they come. Look, they figured it out. Might be a little too late, but they got the spirit. They got the right idea. Now, I don't remember. Does this work in tier two if we get it pack two? Or does that have to be like pack three to do anything in tier two? Okay, we got pack two on our storm ender, which probably is not the best weapon to get it on. But, uh, I mean, it does some damage to tier two zombies. It can definitely do something. It's not great, but it's better than before. Okay, let's do the genius play of uh, trying out a bounty. What's up, buddy? This is doing nothing to him. This was a mistake. I was hoping it would slow him down enough so we can just pepper him with damage, but it's not looking like it. I think I can go ahead and say without a shadow of a doubt, this is probably not the best method for uh, this weapon, getting one trick. I'm going to search for a tear gas grenade or something. Oh, there's a tear gas. Let's go. I accidentally already threw it. Awesome. I think we got an ammo crate here. Let's hit him with it. There we go. That's doing some damage. And this should do it right about... Here. There we go. All right. Well, we know not to do those contracts. First game's a warm up anyways. Just to iron all this out. We should probably just take our talents back to tier one. And the Aether Storm is about to be moving in here in a second. So I'm just going to take this all the way to final X fill. Try to get as many kills as I can. And then we'll see how much XP we get for this game. And we might as well show the Joker some love too. Oh, I'm getting cock blocked by the X fell helicopter. That's awesome. Just ate all those rockets I just shot. Actually, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you can lock onto something in the distance here and that hits the blades above me. Oh, yeah. You can get some kills like that, perhaps. New Joker method unlocked. Nope, still sucks. They just need to get rid of the, the close proximity thing on the Joker. Let me shoot it whenever. And with the storm getting close, we should probably find a way to get closer to where final exile is going to be. I did see a rift over here earlier and it's still there. Perfect. We can just take this and be on our way. All right, time for us to go. Let's see how much XP we got for this game because I didn't see the camo pop up for either one of these guns. We completed only eight contracts for almost a thousand kills with these two weapons. That's not bad. 30,000 XP. And this is what we're at prior to it updating. 2,000 on the Joker and 500 for the Stormender. So we went from 2,000 to 4,000. All right. Still a lot to go on that one. And 20,000 on the Stormender. So got a lot more done that time. Uh, I don't think us trying to balance getting kills and doing contracts there really helped us out. So this time around, I'm going to mainly just do contracts and try to do our Spinal Husk Weapon Mastery Challenge. Just need to get 60 kills for this and 600 for the Stormender, which probably will end up getting anyways. I'm literally just door dashing this whole game. All I'm doing is these delivery contracts. I hope this is still getting my Joker some XP. All right, we only got five minutes left in the game. I've basically done contracts the entire game, only cargoes really. You know, some bounties sprinkled in and some uh, weapon caches. Barely even gone for kills. I don't know if I'm going to get our weapon mastery, at least not on the storm caller or the storm ender. We might be able to get it on the Joker because now I can actually melee with it. And for a majority of those contracts, I had the Joker out. I did a few with a Storm Ender out, but uh, we're going to see if the contracts even like the XP for them count towards these weapons at all. And just a reminder, before this game, we had 20K on the Storm Ender and 4K on the Joker. So I'm hoping we get a big uptick on the Joker here. Come on, give me these kills for this, please. Oh, there it is. 
So you just had to say, please. Now we can attempt to get it done for this, but I don't think we're getting all 600 kills right here. And only 15 seconds left. Oh, that was a long and boring game. I was literally door dashing the entire time. I was Uber Eats best driver. We got six hours off our schematics just from the money alone. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Contracts looks like it's the way to go for schematics. We only had 556 zombie kills that game, but we completed 18 contracts, looted 98 containers, visited 22 POIs. But where's our XP at? So our Joker is now at 15,000. So that's way more than we got the first game. Contracts are definitely better for the Joker. But we had 20,000 on our Storm Ender. What's it at now? 33,000. So if you can kill with a weapon, Probably better to do that, but this is taking way longer than I thought. I'm starting to realize I might have bit off a little bit more than I can chew. And this hell that I've created for myself is infinite. But I'm in too deep now. Uh, I gotta finish. And since last game, we did nothing but contracts. This game, I'm gonna try to do nothing but kills. Oh, we got our weapon challenge done. Damn, 600 kills went fast. I don't even think I have to do anything. I could just sit here and like AFK. I do whatever, as long as the button's still being pressed. I'll kill literally anything that walks up to me. And here comes the storm. Literally just been sitting here killing zombies for 45 minutes. I'm gonna be so upset if I don't got a good amount of XP on either one of these weapons. Honestly, if I have less than 3,000 kills this game, I'm gonna be a bit disappointed because I've almost done nothing but sit here and hold down the trigger on our storm ender the entire game. Whew. That was a long game. That was the longest hour of my life. Show me my kills, please. 4,112 kills that game. Almost 100,000 XP. Five hours taken off. Ooh. And this is what our XP is at prior to this game ending. 15,000 on the Joker, 33,000 on the Storm Ender. Our Joker's now at 19,000. Nice. We only got 4,000 XP for the Joker. Awesome. What about our Storm Ender though? 66,000. We doubled it. So getting all those kills that game, we get a maximum of like 33,000. I don't know if Zombies is the way to do this. We're still not even halfway there. All right. Zombies is not working. Multiplayer, my KD's already in shambles. I don't want to make it even worse. So uh, let's try some lockdown quads. I look stupid as hell going to the dumbass convention. I'm cosplaying. Now I need to find a strat. Do I just land at the highest spot and then try to get people? Maybe. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Ooh, very well. Uh-oh, maybe not. Shit, this guy has no idea we're here though. So maybe, he nope, Never mind. Oh, and the water tower is broken. That was my next spot. Maybe I'll just land right over here. Let's see if I can get this guy with the Joker. He just got to... Nope, he already moved. I really need people just to stay in the same spot forever. Oh, so our decoys. Can't forget about those. Don't you try to snipe at me. Oh, he's really trying me. You don't want this. Yeah, that's right. I got shooters. I'm going to hit somebody with a rocket eventually. Oh, and this guy has no idea. Hellfire is about to rain down on him. I got to watch this. Ooh, we got him. Let's go finish it. Idiot. Ooh, that's fine. As long as I'm getting the kill. Don't care. The worst part about this whole thing is that we're not getting anything for our Storm Ender. We can only have one launcher per Warzone class, at least that I know of. I couldn't find a way to put on like underkill. Or maybe go capture a zone or something. Let's try that. Oh yeah, we're getting a lot of XP in this overtime zone. We're getting 600 XP like every few seconds. Yeah, give me that. This actually might be the move. I just get smoke grenades and sit in here. We're just racking it up. Nobody's even coming to fight us for it. And we made our way into second place somehow after doing nothing the whole game. Damn, look at me. How'd I do? Eight kills, not bad. What about XP wise? Match total, 26,000 XP. That was only 16 minutes. And where's our prestige camo at? 33,000. We are at 19,000 before that game. This might be the way. Hold on. Let's change up the class a little bit. Let's get uh, something more melee centric. Ah, uh, so we get 500 or 500 XP per kill. If we can somehow just keep that up on top of trying to get this done, we might be all right. A thousand XP just for getting into the, f the spot first. That's not bad at all. Now, if I'm just the first one in each zone, ah, uh, let's go to the next one. Ah, uh, oh, uh, wait, what? I didn't get a thousand that time. Lame. Honestly, this ain't bad. We just have to find what zone people aren't even really going to. Like, this one hasn't even been touched yet. And we get a thousand XP just for walking in it. 
Ooh, what was he most wanted? I'll take that. <laughs> this guy just told me to off myself. Not my fault you got your ass beat by a joker. Be better. This is just so easy. I can't believe I was even playing zombies trying to get the XP. This is way better. And remember, we're only at 33,000 XP to start this game. Six kills that game, 21,000 score. What's our XP? It says match total zero. Yeah, right. I hope not. And how much XP do we got now? 50,000. So we're getting like 20,000 XP per game. So in just two games of lockdown quads, we got more XP than we had in like three hours of playing zombies. And that only took us a half hour. So I guess I'm gonna be playing this unless I figure out something that gets us more XP. And out of curiosity, I'm gonna try out a little bit of multiplayer. I'm gonna see if it's better just to play lockdown quads or if we can get more doing this. Because we can just do our normal method of tossing decoys, using the DDoS, and trying to get as many kills as we can on top of it. I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot. But at least we got UAVs to shoot down. Ooh, that was a fat amount of XP right there. And we joined this game in progress, but I feel like we still contributed a little bit. I threw out a lot of decoys, hit my DDoS a lot. You know, went on the hard point at least a little bit and got like, what, four kills? Five kills. So that got us 4,000 XP. Uh, we'll try to play a full game. Oh, it's team deathmatch. Damn it. I wish there's some other objective. Kill confirm would be way better. Don't matter. Can still get kills. It ain't no thing. Dude, where are these lobbies where I'm actually using weapons? Jeez. I'm actually going ham getting melee kills. I'm actually going in this game. Ah, oh, I'm hitting better streaks with this than I do with normal guns. And that's the game. We actually top fragged 26 kills and only 16 deaths. What was I worried about? This is actually better for my KD. And we went from 72,000 to 79,000. I feel like this and lockdown quads are kind of the same. Like we get through these multiplayer games a bit faster with just a little bit less XP. Well, now let me have one game of fun. Now it's right back to the normal lobbies. I mean, just getting spanked. They could at least call in some shit for me to shoot down. So they're gonna beat my ass this bad. Damn. We got slammed that game. 11 and 29. Yeah, that's a fat turnaround. We're at 86,000 though. Still so much to go. Holy shit. I'm going back to lockdown quads. You know, I've been thinking about this entire time I've been doing this. I could have been learning a new skill. You know, I could have been like, practicing the piano. I could be Mozart by now, but no, I'm just going to have a stupid ass camo on my Joker because I spent all this time in lockdown quads. We got to be like just one game away from getting this done. Yeah, 131,000. If we can just get 19,000, which has been our average throughout this, we should get it next game. And for our final game, I'll, I'll do the smart thing and throw the riot shield on. That way I can at least be a little bit safer. Freddy Krueger said, y'all finna lose. You have no idea how prepared I am for this mode. I can just make this place all smoky. We're hot boxing it. Ah, sit. Oh, I'll sit. I have a little seat. Still in first though. Flick nuts. I feel like I'm gonna go into shock if I see the one trick camo pop up this game. I've just been doing this for so long. It, it feels like it's not a real thing. And so much for us winning it. They are way ahead of me. Oh, and this game's almost over. And we don't got it yet. Just a little more XP, please. Are we going to overtime? Let's go. Come on. Get there. Show me the camo. Please. No. Okay, we still got time to respawn and maybe get a little bit more. Or maybe we don't even get the XP till the game's over. Come on. That's game. We didn't end up winning. We got second, which is fine. I think we'll still get a little bit of a decent placement bonus. But is that enough for our one trick camo? Is Freddy Krueger one of the people that won? Did he call it? No, it's Unicorn, King Smoke, and Optimus Slime. Sorry, Freddy. You ain't doing it. 41,000 without even our bonuses. 46,000 total. Are we not even going to get the pop up for this? Oh, come on. Don't make me do another one. You gotta be kidding me. We're 3,000 XP away. All right, one more game. After this game, I'll be released from my own prison. A prison of my own making. I hope we get to see a pop-up in game and I don't have to play out the whole thing. Let me into the bonus zone. The boner zone. The bone zone. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Finally. Holy shit. Oh, it only took forever. I don't know if I have it in me to do it with the storm ender now, but I guess I can finish the rest of this game with it. I'll ride it out. Oh. What a pain in the ass that was. But theoretically, the Storm Ender should be a bit better because I can just sit there and spam shoot it and just like disable people or EMP them and get points that way. We're at 66,000 for the Storm Ender coming into this game. 
We haven't really used it since zombies. Oh, I'm just too good. You can't handle me. I don't even need bullets. I'm too... Oh, never mind. I'm not too nasty. I was there, though. I had it. I had the plays. These guys aren't even close to matching my freak. Got well over double their score. It sucks that this thing's not fully automatic anymore, though. Like in zombies, when you pack a punch, it's full auto. I still have to click it every time I want to shoot it. And that's game, baby. Another easy dub. Glad we ended it on a dub. See, it's showing me with this AR here, but it should show me with the Joker. That's my bread and butter. And how much XP did we get for that? Less XP than we got for coming in like, what, second? Still, one trick camo is done. And how much XP did we get for our Storm Ender in just that one game? But first, beautiful. Look at that gold foil. I just gotta, I gotta see it to believe it. Wonderful. Look at that thing. Kind of looks like shit in this menu, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm probably not gonna use it like almost ever, but we have it. We have it for bragging rights. And we got a few thousand XP for our Storm Ender that game too. But Storm Ender's gonna have to wait. I am, I'm not that patient. I am not doing this for another two hours. Uh-uh. Now just take a look at this. The fruits of my labor. All that, that time, blood, sweat, tears, and a little bit of cum. All came into this. And you may ask the question, was it worth it? No, definitely not. It does look really cool though in my hands though. I'm not gonna lie. Very, very nice looking camo. Looks terrible in the menu for whatever reason, but... This is beautiful, actually. You know what? Maybe I'll have to start to use the, the Joker a bit more. And we're gonna have to do it all again when Obsidian comes out. This is terrible, dude. But I love it. I'm glad we found a method. I'm sure there's something that's way faster than that, but that's the Joe method. But all good things must come to an end, and I've been doing this for entirely too long. So thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.